if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love my Alexa Crock-Pot and my Crock-Pot liners. So if you wanna see a little bit more information about those, go back to my chili video here and you'll be able to get a little bit more details about those. Cause today we're just gonna dive right on into my family's absolute favorite chicken and dumplings in the Crock-Pot recipe. Um, you can't go wrong with this guys. Everybody likes chicken and dumplings. And this recipe is fantastic, super easy, super fast. So first things first, um, you're gonna need two chicken breasts. I just go ahead and throw those right in. Okay guys, so the next step is gonna be adding in the butter. So for the butter, I use two tablespoons of butter. And for the butter, you can just kind of plop it on top of the chicken breast, no specific place to place it in the crock pot. And then the next step is gonna be adding the cream of chicken soup. So I use two cans of cream of chicken soup. And these are the 10 and a half ounce cans, guys. Just dump it right on top. And now we'll add the second can in. And as you can see here, guys, I have the Campbell's brand. This is just what I had in my pantry. You can use any brand of cream of chicken soup. Get every last drop of the good stuff out. Next is going to be our chicken broth. So I'm going to add one can. This is a 14 and a half ounce can of chicken broth. And just dump that in right on top. And then the next item is going to be the diced onion. You can either use half of a diced onion. Or if you just have the dried onion, you can use two tablespoons of that. I actually have frozen chopped onion just because that's easy for me. Um, and I don't measure out what a half an onion is. I just kind of sprinkle enough on the top layer. And then the last item that we're going to need is the parsley. So here you're just going to use one tablespoon of dried parsley. And once you kind of get your tablespoon ready, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle that um, directly on top of the onion there. So now that the chicken and all the goodies are in the crock pot, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to put the lid on it. We're gonna turn it either on low for eight to nine hours or on high for four to five hours. And then if you'll stay tuned, we're gonna talk about next what the dumplings are made of and why they are so, so wonderful. So the last piece of the puzzle is these Grand's Flaky Biscuits for the dumplings. We're just gonna cut these up, put them on top of the chicken that's already done. And y'all, these are gonna be so good.